Hi, my name is Peter Bruninger, and your name is? My name is Dan Meinwald. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm good. What are you showing at the show this year? Well, uh, we're showing EAR Electronics, uh, Martin loudspeakers, and a brand new turntable from Helios, who has been making tone arms for quite some time. But this is their first turntable. Let me Let's take a look show at that. it to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Helios. This is the Helios Omega arm, which is a wonderful tone arm. There, we can get a good look at it now. Yeah, look at the shape of it. Very neutral arm. This is a, it looks, well, it does look a bit unusual, and it, 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 it is very much so. What's the bearing uh, type in the arm? It's a, it's a fixed bearing, mm -hmm. but it's a differential bearing. So you actually have damping in the bearing okay. housing. Mm -hmm. Another unusual thing is that this is a 10-inch arm, but it's on a 9-inch mount because the, the, the bearing point is behind the arm pillar. Oh, okay. So you can fit a 10-inch arm on most normal turntables. You can, yeah. Yeah, so that gives it the ability to have a little bit of a longer reach there. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And he, the designer feels that 10-inch is ideal. Mm -hmm. You go to 12, you're, you're running into problems with mass and resonance and so on. Okay. The 10 inch gives you most of the uh, reduced distortion uh, between a nine and something longer, mm -hmm. but without introducing the mass problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the turntable itself is a suspended design. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Look how cool that is. Look at how that, that goes up and down. What's and a travel? That's got to have a good, uh, you know, like it looks like 50 millimeter travel. That's a lot of travel. Uh, actually, if you take the platter off, gosh. it'll come up to about here. Oh my gosh. The platter is not particularly heavy, but... Look at that. And then the arm is on that too? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, platter has a strobe, strobe disc underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a sensor right about here underneath the platter that is sensing and adjusting the speed 270 times a second. So it's got very good pitch stability. Very good, yes. Yeah. Okay, what do we have over here? Uh, where are we going? Over to Let's the preamp? Let's go right to the preamp here. Uh, this is the EAR 912 preamp. This has been around a few years, but yet to be surpassed, at least by Tim DeParvicini. Yeah, Tim was, uh, came in yesterday. We saw him come in with his bags. And uh, we have an interview with Tim uh, from three weeks ago up mm -hmm. on uh, AB Showrooms. And Tim did a great job talking about uh, the new digital product. Well, here's the new digital product. That's the transport that you're looking at now. Well, lo and behold, here we are. And while we're over on this side, we have one of the amplifiers over here. It's uh, That's the right channel. Of it's a 100 watt mono block called what? the EAR509. And what output tubes are those? Those output tubes uh, are called either 40KG6 in Europe or PL509 in the US. Or, or actually, it might be the other way around, I forget. Okay. But that's why the amp is called the 509. Okay. The, tube, the output tube is a PL509. Okay, I get it. 100 watts per channel. And how about right here? Right here is the new DAC. Uh, it accepts signals from a, uh, a lot of different sources. Uh, the transport itself, of course, uh, which has a proprietary connection connector to the DAC. Over to the DAC. So here we have transport on right, DAC over here. And if you're playing an SACD on the transport, the signal is kept native DSD all the way through to uh, analog conversion, yeah, which, Tim, is, which is uncommon. That is uncommon, and Tim was talking about that in Munich. Uh, for if you're getting a, if you're playing a CD or accepting a red book signal from your computer, it upsamples to 24192. Okay. It will also accept DSD signals from the computer mm -hmm. via USB. Mm -hmm. 
you have to use Pure Music or uh, Ordervana. There may be a few other programs that do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you get, you know, full DST. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, just loving DST. I just, it's, uh, it's, I wish we had had it uh, 20 years ago. Well, we did have it 20 years <laughs> ago. Yeah. But, but for us, for <laughs> consumers. Right. Yeah. No, I, I truly think that uh, to be able to have the DST uh, signal come through the computer is going to make it a viable uh, format. Yeah, I think so. The too. SACD really didn't get where it should have. No, it was, a, I, it was a closed system. But I think that the, the, to be able to play DSD through your computer will bring it back up. Yeah, I agree with it. I agree. And how about the loudspeakers? Uh, these are the new Django L loudspeakers from Horton in Sweden. We introduced these uh, at CES uh, this year. And this is the baby brother to the Django XL that w was introduced uh, in 2012. Uh, both are an effort to create a world-class loudspeaker uh, without sticker shock. Yeah, I believe these retail uh, well under $20,000. Well under, they're well, 9000 a pair. That is surely well under, that's fantastic. Well, let's sit down and do a little bit of listening. Okay. I want to thank you very much, Dan Meinwald. You're very welcome. Have a good show. You know? Thank you. Some music and nuda. That's perfect. Thank you.